Valentina is 75 years old and has been deafened after Russian rockets hit Kramatorsk late on Friday. The strike damaged over 60 buildings, including her house. Here's the blast crater. Someone told me it was in my garden and here it is. The shell's been taken out. Valentina's neighbour, a school teacher, says they only survived the attack because they happened to be inside when the missile struck. If we were in the street, I'm not sure that we would be talking with you right now. All the rocket pieces are in the yard. The fact that we were inside the house saved us. Only, I have this. The latest strikes in Kramatorsk come as Russian forces continue their efforts to take over the east of the country, the major city being one of the last still under Ukrainian control in the Donetsk region. As Moscow's military continued pounding eastern Ukraine, Kyiv said attacks had intensified on the front line from the Donetsk province up to northeastern Kharkiv, where Ukrainian troops attacked Russian soldiers from the country's second largest city. Together with other brigades, we worked effectively. We eliminated enemy manpower. We destroyed a lot of equipment. So in the last month and a half, there are less strikes. It feels easier. On Saturday, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed to have taken control of Pisky village in the northwest of Donetsk, over a week after pro-Russian forces already reported they had gained control of the area. Citizens in the east now have to decide whether to stay or leave the Donetsk region, as Ukraine hopes to evacuate two-thirds of residents from areas under its control before the winter.